Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new around here, my name's Danielle and I'm an Essex-based mum of one to a little boy named Leo who's three. Now today I'm going to share my weekly food shop and meal plan with you. Now I normally shop in Aldi, if you're like a follower of my channel or you've seen my videos before you probably see that we do always shop in Aldi, but our local Aldi is actually temporarily closed. So today I'm going to go to Asda, which actually works out quite well because I do need some free from bits for Leo. So my little boy has a dairy and wheat allergy. Um, we have introduced a little bit of dairy now, but we are still gluten free for him. I mean, myself and my husband do eat gluten, but Leo doesn't. So I do need to top up on that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to pop there now. It's like eight o'clock now in the morning. So I'll do that, come back and I'll show you what I've got. Um, but first, I just wanted to go through what's on the menu this week. Sorry, I'm looking this way because we have our meal plan on our fridge. I, it was a top tip of mine. If you have an annoying husband or partner that constantly asks what's for dinner or children that are old enough to constantly ask for what's for dinner, just get your meal plan on the fridge and then they don't have to ask anymore. Honestly, it's been a godsend in this house. Um, so on Monday, we're actually going to have naan bread pizzas i think i've shared this before so we just use like garlic and coriander naans you could use any that you've got we just spread them maybe with some passata or a new thing we've been using is stirring pasta sauce which i've already got in the cupboard uh, a bit of mozzarella cheese on top then whatever like veggies toppings that you want olives mushrooms um, ham whatever you like um we just have that with some salad then on tuesday we're going to be having a red lentil dal um, most of the stuff for that I have also got in. Um, I kind of shop around in my own cupboards first, see kind of what I've already got and then base meals off of that. So I need a few little bits for that. Um, maybe I'll share that recipe with you because it's quite a cheat one and it comes out amazing. It's got so much flavour. Then on Wednesday, it's just myself and Leo that are here. We're going to we're going to have a pea, leek and lemon risotto. I've not tried the recipe before but I found it on Pinterest so I'll give that a try and let you know how that comes out. Um, a Thursday, we always go to my nan's for dinner, so we don't need to get food for that. Although for lunchtime, because my husband and I will both be here, we will probably have our little weekly treat of like southern fried chicken salad wraps that we like to make at home with some crisps. It's like it's a little naughty treat that we do every week. Then on Friday, we're going to be having meatballs with teglatelli. I think I've shared this recipe before. It's a really simple one, um, but it's really, really tasty. Then on Saturday, we're going to be having a sausage, bean and tomato and potato casserole. It's a recipe from a gluten-free cookbook that I've got recently. And then again from the cookbook on Sunday, we're going to be having braised beef with spices and mashed potato. So I'm gonna head off now and then I'll come back and show you what I bought. Okay, that's me just back from Asda now. Now price-wise, I thought we did really well today. Now I thought I'd just jump on as like a little bit of a disclaimer. Um, this week we are having more meat than the, what we normally have. I was kind of realising that when I made the meal plan, but also when I was putting it in the trolley, I was like, okay, there is a lot more meat here. You know, quite curious of what the price is going to be this week. But also I did get some really nice pyjamas for Leo. It was a multi-pack in there and I'd seen them online, but couldn't get his size. Um, so I'll just show you those. They were £16, but I just think they're such a nice little Christmas print and I like all of them. You've got like the waffle set here, the grey ones. Um, and then there's like a charcoal grey set as well. I just thought they're not too Christmassy. So I know it doesn't really matter anyway, but it's just quite nice, isn't it? When they, you know, they're gonna get a good wear out of it. So I thought they were really lovely. 16 pounds, maybe a little bit expensive for Asda, but I do think they're really nice. And obviously that is a pack of three. You can kind of mix and match them if you wanted to. Um, also, there's not as much fruit as what I usually buy. I think a lot of people normally sort of comment or mention to me how much fruit we have in the house to snack on. Um, but for Halloween and trick or treating, we just went to family and a lot of them gave Leo fruit just because we don't, um, we don't really give him, I mean, he's only three, so he doesn't really have sweets. Um, so they did get some little chocolates and stuff like that. Um, but as you can see, this is our fruit, we've got two fruit bowls left over. So I've already got like a whole pack of apples, oranges, a pineapple, some bananas. There's still quite a lot there. And um, so I'll just take you through what we did get. So we've got um, Leo's Honey Hoops, so the free from ones. We've got the Bran Flakes, which my husband has. These little growing up milks, um, they're really good if your little one um, is dairy free or not having 
a lot and they need kind of all the vitamins and minerals and stuff. These are really recommended by our dietitian. You can get the big cartons of these, but these are just so handy for me to be able to pop in a bag and take out. Um, and they're, they're kind of a little bit filling. So if I need to tide Leo over to dinner or something, um, they're really good. We've got Leo's free from bread. And then we've got this wholemeal toasty bread. I thought I'd give that a try. Um, we've got the plain soy yogurt, which is for Leo. I do have to mix in a little bit of like jam or honey or something into this to get him to eat it because he doesn't really like, it's a little, not bitter, but obviously it's not sweet. Um, so yeah, we've got the Cana uh, Canadian maple syrup. I use this quite a lot in our baking and in recipes. I've got some chia seeds this um, this week. So I wanted to make some chia pudding, but I wanted to try some warm one, uh, like a warm recipe that I've seen. So I'm going to try that this week for me and Leo. It's a really good source of fiber. We use this butter all the time. It's a vital. We all have this. It's the dairy free one. We've got some cheese just for like, I don't know, sandwiches or to go into recipes. I've got 12 free range eggs because if you've got eggs, you've always got a meal. Um, milk, this is just normal cow's milk. Then I've got Oatly Barista because that's what I have in my tea. I've got this coconut milk. This coconut milk from um, Asda is so nice. It's perfect in a hot chocolate and obviously hot chocolate season is upon us. I have got some herbal fresh mint tea because I like to drink some of this every day. I think it really helps with like bloating and like, digestion and stuff. I then got some braising steak for our recipe on um, Sunday. Um, I haven't cooked with this before, but I'm sure it'd be absolutely fine. That's what the recipe called for. Then some tomato puree that goes into this recipe and I actually had run out. And some horseradish. This actually goes into the recipe as well. And perhaps if it comes out nice, I'll share the recipe in a future video. I've got some uh, gluten-free beef stock because that was also needed. I've then got some meatballs for our meatballs and pasta. I've got some honey roast ham for some sandwiches or just like a little snack plate or something for Leo this week. Then I've got one of these. We've had them before, the gym kitchen. It's the Piri Piri chicken. This is for my husband on the day that he is working late and myself and Leo have got the risotto. I've then got uh, some free from naan breads. I'll probably pop these in the freezer so that Leo can have one for the pizzas on Monday. And then obviously have one in the future. We've then got two normal garlic and coriander naans. Uh, for myself and my husband, the mozzarella um, to go on top. We just break that up and put it over with the sauce. We then got some chopped tomatoes for one of our recipes and then some beans for the kind of casserole, sausage casserole recipe. Then I've got the sausages. These are gluten-free. That's the Cumberland ones. I've got the southern fried chicken for us to have our southern fried chicken treat this week. I then have some shredded iceberg lettuce. Um, this is for like our wraps. Then I've got a few bananas, not as many as what we usually have, but I have already got some from last week. Um, I have got some peppers, the green one we use in the Taglatelli and meatballs. And then um, I think some of our other recipes called for some peppers as well. Some spinach, because you can just chuck this in everything, can't you? And hide some greens. Uh, red onion for one of our recipes. Some strawberries to go with breakfasts and blueberries. Leo tends to have berries with his breakfast every morning. And um, we've then got some chestnut mushrooms. I can always whip up... Um, something with some mushrooms. I absolutely love mushrooms, so I can always do recipes with that. Even have it on toast or something. I've got a avocado, so I can have like smashed avocado on toast. I've then got some carrots. They're great to snack on, and they're great just to do, like to steam up, like chopped as a side to go with a dinner. I've then got some lemons. We needed some lemon to go with our risotto this week. With the risotto, I actually do already have the rice and I already do have the peas in the freezer. I've got a big bag of frozen peas. Then I've got some cucumber. Leo often had this to go with his lunch and some leeks because that is in one of our recipes as well. I think that's actually in the risotto recipe. Yes. Um, tomatoes to go in our um, red lentil dal. I've then got some potatoes that I can make mash. You can always make wedges as a side or a snack. Then got some of these fizzy waters as like an evening drink for myself and my husband. We don't drink this all day. We just had this kind of with our evening meal. I've then got some pom bears as a snack for Leo. We've got quite a lot of kind of sweet stuff left over from Halloween. So I didn't buy too many like treats or snacks as such because I kind of just want to get rid of that out of the cupboards at the moment. I've then got some... Kitchen mold, just got one of these big ones. Some baby wipes, because we're still having to kind of wipe up Leo's sticky hands and stuff. You know, when you're trying to get out 
to do the nursery run and he's just eaten some pancakes or something and he's due to wipe his hands and mouth over and then some deodorant for my husband. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I'd love it if you'd stick around and subscribe. Bye guys.